Okay, so this is my uh, ECU test bench. Um, we've got an engine here. This is a two and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine with a fuel injection manifold instead of a carburetor and with electronic ignition instead of magneto. The engine is attached to an alternator which is attached to some light bulbs so that we can place a load on the engine. We've got a fuel pump and fuel tank on the back to drive the fuel injector. Fuel tank is just the fuel pump is just behind there. There's a throttle here which has a throttle position sensor on it. There's a crankshaft position sensor here. And a lambda sensor in the exhaust. We've also got an incident pressure sensor which is built into this spark plug. So this is a Kistler spark plug and just this wire here is the connection for the pressure sensor. And we've also got an optical encoder directly coupled to the crankshaft for 0.25 degree resolution crankshaft encoding. And we've got a heat exchanger on the exhaust, which is just a water to air heat exchanger, and then an external exhaust. And that's the water supply for the heat exchanger. Okay, so the engine is connected through some electronics which is all on this board. So these are the sensor interfaces and um, actuator drivers. So we've got the crank position sensor here which is a variable reluctance sensor and that's connected through some cabling to here which is a conditioning box so that takes the sawtooth signal from the crank position sensor and uh, using an op amp it thresholds it and outputs a 5 volt signal which is a nice clean square wave ready for a microcontroller. Then we've got the fuel injector driver which is here. So this takes a 5 volt input Focus. and so we take a 5 volt input and output 12 volt signal to drive the fuel injector and then we've got an ignition coil and driver which is an IGBT in here to switch the ignition uh, on and off and then we've got a lambda sensor in the exhaust which connects to a lambda sensor interface box and this outputs a 0 to 5 volt signal which can go directly again into a microcontroller. So the ECU itself is back up here. It's here, this is an Arduino Mega. It receives all of the sensor inputs through this cable here which just connects to the interfaces. Uh, this is the throttle position cable and we've got the lambda sensor 
output there. We've also got trim pots for controlling the ignition timing and the fuel duration. And that's it basically. A USB connection then to this computer here. Basically for programming and viewing the engine information. So here we can see for example the engine RPM which is uh, well it stopped at the moment so that was the last RPM we've got the fuel injector duration the timing of the fuel injector um, in the cycle the dwell time for the ignition coil um, this is a set point for setting the angle of peak pressure we've got the actual ignition angle here which is offset by 240 degrees because that's where the crank sensor uh, missing teeth are. Then we've got a lambda sensor reading here which is between 0 and 1024 um, about 220 being stoichiometric or lambda 1 and that's why the lambda set point is at 220 there. And then a throttle position sensor finally on the end there. So if we whack open the throttle then that changes. So then that's a basic ECU and that can control the engine quite successfully with closed loop fuel um, and kind of electronic ignition with an ignition map and fuel map. And then what we've got here is an interface to the um, instant the pressure sensor. So the spark plug has a pressure sensor built into it. This cable, small cable here, goes to this box which is a charge amplifier. So this converts a changing capacitance in the sensor into a changing voltage. And then that box connects to the back of this big blue box at the bottom here, which is an AVL Indeset 620 and this records at a very high speed uh, basically data input signals so we can see on the back of the box we've got a number of channels there BNC connectors um, and one of those is the pressure signal the rest are the fuel signals and the ignition signals the lambda ratio and other signals that I want to record so this red line here on the screen is the actual the pressure in the cylinder. So we can see between zero, where zero is top dead center, and minus 360 and plus 360, since this is a four stroke, we can see that as the piston comes up to top dead center, the pressure increases, and then we don't have any combustion in this case because um, this is a trace from basically a misfire and so then we see the pressure decrease. We can also see on here the timing of the ignition. So see this green one, that's the ignition uh, signal um, and then the blue one is the fuel. So this would actually be a wasted spark because we've got an ignition uh, pulse here in front of top dead center and then we've also got another one up here which is kind of wasted and the same with the fuel. So you could kind of call this sequential fuel injection but realistically since we waste a, an injection there it's not really so this software allows us to view in very high speed uh, and real time all of the kind of information that's going on inside the engine and for all of the control signals for the ECU and we can calculate from that various um, bits and pieces which might be of interest